hello guys welcome back to the channel tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix arma reforger crashing or it is not having access violation or it is failed to initialize infusion engine error and it is completely freezing up and how we can fix this up and if you are for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification so let's move to the workarounds so the first step is all about you have to do a simple restart on your pc and that is the first step so to do this you just have to go over here on the start you have to click over here on the power icon go for restart and do this up and sometimes by after doing a restart most probably the issue has to be fixed even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one and next one is all about you have to start the battle eye services so to do this you just have to follow the instruction go over here and search for services now from here if you scroll down you will be able to find battle i services keep scrolling and as you can see here as you can see battle i services which is running so you have to double click most of the cases this will be changed into manually so here for uh, i have already done the step so this is into automatic so if it is manual change this to automatic once this change to automatic you just have to go for start and you have to reset uh, go for apply and go for ok then restart the services and as you can see right now the program is running in the background so you have to enable this one and you have to check and most probably the issue has to be fixed even after trying this if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one is all about you have to do for a clean installation of graphic drivers it depends on these laptops to pcs so those who are on the nvidia sorry i mean those who are on the geforce drivers you have to go over here in the respective link which will be provided in the video description you have to give all the details according to your product type product series product operating system language download etc and you have to go for it simultaneously for the amd users you have to follow the same uh, graphic uh, you have to select the graphics and you have to select which one is uh, yours and you have to select this one and go for submit and download and install manually and this is also quite important step which is going to help you guys out after trying in both the ways and if you're still persisting with the issue the next is all about you have to go for this one that is all about you have to laptop users with dual graphics card run the game on the dedicated graphics card so to do this just have to go over here in the search and you have to search for graphics setting you have to search for graphics settings now from here you will be having an option to click on browse option so this will take you to where the game is installed in the steam so what you have to do is once you added the game over here you will be getting an option like this the uh, the arma reforger will be over here so i'll be showing you an example with the crab game so you have to select the respective game and there will be an option like this you have to click on this one and change this to high performance and go for save simultaneously for this one also you have to change this to high performance once it is done this will be dedicated the game will be running in the dedicated particular uh, gpu so this is going to guys to help you guys out and moving to the next one is all about you have to disconnect all externals like joystick if you are connected to any uh, things like hotas and also if anything is connected to logitech a wheel and all those things you have to connect all the uh, external things which is connected to your laptop or pc then you have to try to play the game and you have to see whether you are able to fix the issue and sometimes this simple external uh, connection can cause a lot of messy so this is also quite important then we just have to move to the next one is all about you have to update your windows which is quite a simple step so you just have to go over here and you have to search for settings you have to search for settings open this one now you just have to go over here in the windows update from here in the windows update you have to check for update now as you can see when you check for update it is working good and you have to check whether you are able to fix the issue or not and if you are getting any kind of update just install the respective update and you have to see in some cases this will be fixing you guys out right now as you can see i'm having an update so i just have to wait for the complete installation and once it is done i just have to try to launch the game and most probably the issue has to be fixed even after trying this if it's not working the next is all about you have to allow the game exe file to antivirus program and also you have to do the windows security protection also so simultaneously i'll be going over here and i'll be navigate to settings from here i'll be navigate to uh, privacy and security so i'll be going to windows security now from here as you can see there is an option called virus and threat protection so i'll be going over here right now i just have to navigate to uh, this one manage ransomware protection and i just have to go over here and simultaneously also i have to go to virus and threat protection over here also 
so here there is an option called firewall and in production you just have to click on this one there is an option called allow an app through firewall so i have to click on this one now this will take you over here in this section and as you can see here are some of the files as this all been completely you know it this all been done so i just have to click on change setting so that i'll be getting an option to allow another app so from here i just have to browse where the game is installed now i have to select the respective game and once it is done you just have to go for add and i have to go for ok and you have to try to play the game and in most cases this has to be fixed even after trying this if it's not working the next is all about you have to perform a very simple clean boot you just have to perform this one so to do is just have to go over here and you have to search for system configuration you just have to search for system configuration now from here navigate to services and right now as you can see all these are marked right now so what do you have to just go for hide all microsoft services and go for disable all once you're done with the disable all go for apply and go for ok then you just have to close this and try to launch the game from the steam and this has to be fixed even after trying this if it's not working the next is all about you have to install visual c++ so over here as you can see i'll be giving a link in the description which will take you to the official microsoft visual c++ from here what you have to just have to check which one is your pc or laptop if it is 86 bit go for this one if it is 64 bit go for this one you have to download the both the things depends on the pcs and once you're done with this one you just have to install the respective one after installing you just have to minimize this one and go for a restart and try to go back to the steam and try to launch the game and this has to be fixed even after trying this if it's not working the next is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game so you just have to uninstall and reinstall the game in the sense you have to go to the steam whatever it may be if the game is downloaded from the steam you just have to uninstall the game once you're done with the uninstalling the game what do you have to do is you just have to reinstall the game not to the same uh, drive which is already installed you have to change the drive for example if it is on local disk c you have to go for local disk d or local disk e you have to try with the same simultaneously sometimes this is going to fix you guys out and i have seen in the reddit for the many uses this has worked simultaneously also you have to try out verify integrity of game file is also some of the best way to fix the issue because as you know that sometimes you know the games files get corrupted so in order to just have to go over here in the library Right now, as you can see, these are the available games right now on my Steam account because I haven't purchased the game because I'm having some trouble with my credit card. So I haven't purchased the game. So once you reach over here, you just have to click on the respective game. Now there is an option called uh, properties. You just have to go for it. And now you just have to, uh, sorry, what do you have to do is just have to right click and you just have to what do you have to do? You just have to verify integrity of game files from here. And in some cases and the most cases what happens is if any uh, any files are corrupted this is completely fixed and also if you are getting any kind of updates like this you just have to update the game also that is also quite important step. So these are the basic steps which you have to try out when you are having an issue with Arma Reforger which is getting completely crashed up or having access violation or it is failed to initialize engine error and also it is completely freezing up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out